Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep.com. My name today is Jason Newland and uh, this recording today is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Number Um, hundred and eighty-three, I think. So it's over two hundred hours, I think, of me talking on this particular podcast. It was a hundred and ninety-five hours last week. So I'm guessing it's got to be over 200 now. Because some of the sessions I'll talk for a little bit more than an hour. Sometimes I won't talk for more than an hour and two minutes. Occasionally I'll talk for about 52 minutes. But usually it's about an hour-ish. And only, please, today, only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes today. I'm enjoying saying the word today. I'm practicing in case I ever get another job in a call centre. So that when people call up I can say, Hello, you through to Juicy JJ. How are you today? Okay. And I'll let them answer. And then I'll say, How can I help you today? And then, you know, I'll let them answer that and I'll try and help them. And at the end of the call, I'll say, Is there anything else I can do for you today? And they'll go, and I'll say, No, it's fine, you've done one wonderful wonderful job I'll say thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day so I'll try and say the word day four times in a conversation hopefully I won't get people like me who pick up on that and become a little bit awkward when someone says to me how are you today? I say, today's alright, but yesterday, oh, let me tell you about yesterday. And tomorrow, oh, don't let me get started on tomorrow. And then it says, uh, how can I help you today? I said, what, just today? You only care about me today. But I'm a regular shopper here. I'm a regular customer. What about next week when I come? Do you not want to help me then? And they look as if, just stop talking please. I don't have an answer for these. I just have to say this stuff. Can I just please just take your money? Please. I do find it quite funny when people in shops do actually say so how are you and I know they don't want to have a they only want a basic answer they don't really want to know if you really you know if you want to just have some fun take a list of complaints in with you on a piece of paper things that you're peeved off with in life medical conditions emotional issues, all that stuff and just have it all written down have it numbered and the next time a person in a shop who's just you know, on the the cashier or the the till says to you how are you today pull out the big piece of paper the 
the bigger the better really if you don't have lots of stuff just get a really big piece of paper and write in big letters and start to go through them well first of all <laughs> and just go you can go through them it could be whatever I'm not going to list every single possible scenario because it would take a while to get through all that and I don't have that kind of time to mess around so I suppose I should do a little summary of what this recording is about it's about boring you to sleep it's about also a familiar voice keeping you company for an hour a day and I say that because I've been quite good and I have made a new recording every day doesn't mean it's going to always happen because sometimes I take a little break from recording anything however this is my third recording today and yesterday I also made three recordings and each day throughout the week I've made at least two recordings including this boring one the other podcast that I contribute to very regularly uh, kind of daily also pretty much is the Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis podcast and I've also got a website for that which is deepsleepwhisper.com and I think yeah 123 recordings on that podcast and they last on average about 20 minutes each and it's just me whispering just going like that whisper 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 go to sleep go to sleep are you not asleep yet ah, go back go to sleep ignore me and go to sleep you won't get any Christmas presents if you don't go to sleep that's kind of what I do really it's uh, I may be underselling it a little bit but it's that is my most popular podcast and I want this to be my most popular podcast because this is me being myself and it's not the most popular one it is popular but it's I basically got how many have I got I've got 45 podcasts all in all and they're spread all over the internet like a little plague and uh, the, they're all at home on my Spreaker page so that's where all my podcasts live but they're they're available on you know Google Android Apple Podcasts Spotify just Stitcher you name it all the different ones but in terms of popularity as in kind of overall stats the Deep Sleep Whisper is the front runner. 
so I've got 60, yeah, 65,000 downloads on that one. And the next one would be I think it's the two insomnia sleep insomnia podcasts I've got and they've basically got everything that I've done all the sleep stuff that I've ever recorded well most of it and not all of it actually there's, there's a few missing ones but it's got most of the sleep stuff so they're they're popular and it's quite strange because on one of those podcasts the deep sleep whisper hypnosis sessions are the most popular ones but on the other podcast the let me bore you to sleep are the most popular ones and the other two podcasts so I guess Let Me Boy to Sleep would be like fourth most popular which I think it should be I think it should be first but I could tell you it was first but well, there's no point there's a point in lying eh I'm the only one that has access to the stats, but I like to share that stuff. But this is growing. So the the daily growth. So what do I get? I get an average three to four hundred downloads a day on the let me bore you to sleep the deep sleep whisper I get 500 plus downloads a day and it's always growing I had 800 the other day two days ago and the two sleep insomnia session week podcasts that's around the four or five hundred mark each a day you know it depends it, it fluctuates um, because I'm averaging about 2,300 between 2,300 and 2,800 downloads a day all together so it never goes below 2,000 now it's always above it it's always Two three two thousand three hundred two thousand four hundred. The other day it was two thousand nine hundred. So it's it kind of it, it's now it's um, I don't know what the right word for it is. There's a, a, a term in selling that where it's when something reaches its ceiling has to break through the ceiling in order to grow and that's what this has done it's it's broken through the 2000 ceiling so it's growing and that's all the podcasts all together and there's there's a few that just kind of are growing on their own the 28 day stop smoking course is regularly growing and I do nothing to promote that it's a 28 course it's four day it's four sessions the one for each each week and I made it years ago and I just uploaded it in November again on this this speaker and it just it's growing so I don't have to do anything for that so I guess in the future maybe it's a year or two that'll 
exponentially just got bigger and bigger more popular as with I suppose all of the recordings all of the podcasts but the other two that are popular is the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly now I don't get as many downloads a day on that one as the other podcasts because I only make one record in a week but it's still popular if that makes sense so it's still I don't know I'm going to get probably a couple of hundred a day sometimes less sometimes more so it's growing it's always growing and the other one which is probably I would say the biggest grower of all of them is the relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety and panic attacks that's growing it just I haven't made a recording for over a week I think and I've made one today but I was still getting quite a few that's you know, sort of like kind of hundred downloads a day and it's growing and there's this only I've got 42 episodes on there and I do wonder if I was to make more regular ones you know every day or every two days that would just become that could end, end up being my most popular podcast but it's going to take some doing to be the deep sleep whisper because that's so I say so far in front it's not I think one of my podcasts the sleep ones like 58,000 and the other one's about 55,000 and the let me boy to sleep is I think about 52,000 downloads so there's not a huge difference between them but with 65,000 I think with the deep sleep whisper that's that's just in the lead at the moment but then you never know someone might discover the some of the other podcasts that I've got some of the newer ones that I've uploaded old material but new new as a podcast I've got a what is it healing hypnosis there's the hypno chats there's a hypnotic buffet the hypnotic buffet used to be really popular and then and that was more because of YouTube I think than anything else but you know it's weird really the way it goes it's, I suppose it's because I've produced so much stuff so many recordings that maybe it's it can be a little bit not confusing but a bit daunting maybe like what should I listen to and I suppose with the regular recordings I make you kind of know what you're getting you know if you listen to this you're going to hear me just waffle on about just random stuff sometimes I'll just talk about my stats sometimes I'll talk about relationships sometimes I'll talk about what I've been up to sometimes I'll just completely make up stuff like the previous recording the one I did before this uh, the let me boy to sleep the last one I did I was speaking like this all the way through and I, I prayed 
till he fell asleep doing it. It was, uh, and I did a, I did a, my sleep week, was it weekly sleep, sleep, oh, I forget the name, weekly sleep hypnosis. I did that last night. And I was actually falling asleep while I was making it. And I, you know that feeling when you kind of drift off and you just realise if you drift, you drifted off. You realise, oh, you know, and you kind of, you have to kind of pretend that you was, you, you was awake the whole time. And hope that the person you're talking to hasn't noticed. Well, that, that happened to me. Last night, while I was... I was like... And that's the thing, because I was laying down. I wasn't laying down, but I was sitting in a big black squeaky chair. And... I just drifted. I had my eyes closed and I just really drifted off and I hope that what I said made sense because I never listen back to anything I've done so I hope I didn't just <laughs> I hope I didn't just start talking a bunch of rubbish because that would be you wouldn't notice it here, but on my, you know, a lot of my other podcasts, I'm very, I wouldn't say serious, and I don't like the word professional, but I probably am a bit more professional. You know, just kind of get on with what's what I'm there to do, I suppose. You know, the sleep hypnosis whisper I whisper and I focus solely on sleeping when I do the anxiety panic attacks stress podcasts I talk solely about the subject and I focus just on that topic there's no drifting off to other stuff very focused work I say work but you know I like to think of it as work because I hope that what I do helps and I don't know if there needed to be an end there I just If it was just, if I was just doing this stuff for fun, then I could probably continue just making these recordings because I can have fun with these. But they could start getting a bit s even sillier than normal. I definitely wouldn't bother with any of the other podcasts because it's not that they're not fun, because I do enjoy what I do. And there's something quite freeing and very creative about the process because literally I have no idea what I'm going to say from one second to the next. There's no preparation. And... I would say that that clearly comes across in these recordings but I don't think it comes across quite as much in the other recordings I'd say it kind of looks like I'm kind of not reading off a script because I've never done that in my life the only time The closest thing to a script I have in the past is sometimes I'll put together 
try and come up with um, an idea. So let's say it's a, a deep sleep whisper relaxation session, or sleep session, and I think, okay, I'll, I'll do something that involves a hot air balloon taking away the worries of the day and just watching it float away and that's that's the idea but I don't kind of have a script of what I'm going to say or the words I'm going to use or any suggestions I'm going to give I just think well, that's an idea but the amount of times I've done that and just for okay this is what I'm going to do sometimes it would be a case of maybe just sitting down for a couple of minutes thinking what should I do and then I think oh yeah okay I'll do that I'll do a pain relief session and I'll I'll focus on the feeling that we've all had when we've been to the dentist and had that anaesthetic and you know where your whole like lips and your mouth goes numb and then imagine that transferring to the person's uh, stomach or leg or wherever it is and then when I start the recording and I'll do the whole welcome to jasonnewland.com please only listen when you can safely close your eyes my name is Jason Newland and then I start talking and I've my focus will go in a different direction and I'll end up instead of doing the you know the anaesthetic uh, transferring from the mouth to the to the elbow or wherever the pain issue is I might end up for some reason thinking of a map and how the continents are divided on a map and then just having that divide around the painful area and separating the painful area from the pain free area and then starting to flood that pain area with the feeling from the pain free area so it kind of neutralizes to the point where the whole area kind of feels the same and feels relaxed and calm and just kind of neutralizes those unpleasant feelings that were there before and then afterwards I think oh why did I think of that where did that come up? Where, you know, oh. So I quite like that process because it just happens in the moment. Although I would like to be a bit more prepared. So, you know, once I've, uh, once I've finished building my websites and I'm getting close to it, not haven't finished they'll never be finished but there's still lots to do but I'd like to start making notes and planning and you know coming up with some new ideas for recordings just a little sketch pad where I can just play around and think oh okay because it's just about being creative it's just imagination and I, I do like that part but I don't in some ways I don't do it that often as far as planning ahead I just put complete trust in my unconscious mind to provide the words that are necessary for each individual recording and 
I would say it does its job and I thank my unconscious mind thank you very much I'm going to give you a big wet kiss now now I feel that my relationship has changed with my unconscious mind I feel that we've uh, crossed the line somewhat but anyway that's a different thing so I like the idea of helping people which is why I do the recordings and I don't go on about this because I, oh look at me I'm such a such a wonderful person because obviously I am I mean I don't need to keep telling you that but it's not the reason I say it it's just I don't, maybe I'm reminding myself that what I'm doing is for a nice reason for a, but I suppose the reason I'm saying it here is because I feel I can say it here because these recordings are just me being me you know without any there's no barriers or masks or anything like that I'm not I'm not trying to be a professional I'm just playing around with the intention of being boring as well because I know that I'm boring I know that I know that and it's not a case of just me being boring it's it's a case of when you talk about something that other people are not interested in it's boring it can be boring and also know that well, I've been told by many people that I've got a calming voice that I've got a relaxing voice and if you listen to somebody with a relaxing voice it relaxes you it's kind of standard isn't it really it's the same as when I listen to people that in some in some ways I quite list, like listening to people that don't that don't have a relaxing voice, and I don't mean someone shouting, but I give you an example. I like my new thing at the moment. It's summed up with one sentence: "We become what we think about." that's the sentence and if you if you've ever read the book The Secret or watched the movie on YouTube it is summed up in that sentence we become what we think about that is the secret of the secret and I like and again it can be described in a million different ways and it is described in a million different ways by many different people and it has been for many many years as well so I like listening to the different people describe it I think one is John Rones John Rohn another one Bob Proctor and these are people Earl Nightingale is another one and uh, not Caesar Napoleon Hill that's it Napoleon Hill so there that's four plus there's others as well wow but there it seems that they're hot especially Bob Proctor Napoleon Hill and Earl Nightingale they focused on this in a big way and it's pretty amazing stuff actually and I think I don't know why I'm telling you this Why? what was the point in telling you this there was a reason but I don't remember what it was <laughs> oh yeah 
I don't find their voices relaxing. Particularly. Which is quite good because I like listening to them. But I want to. <laughs> I don't really want to go to sleep when I listen to them. But there are some people. And I listen to them and I do just drift off. Because they're so relaxing. So. I don't know if I've got the right voice. To be reading books. You know. I mean partly. You know I kind of like the idea. Of someone wanting to pay me. To. Do, to do anything really. But. I don't. I think I'd be a bit boring. I think my voice would just send people to sleep. Which isn't ideal, is it really? I guess. There's someone in the garden. What's the time? It's 11 minutes past 5 in the morning. On this Saturday morning. The 4th. I think it's the 4th, 3rd or 4th of January, of January, 3rd or 4th of August, 2019. And there's someone walking around in a garden. What are they up to? They should be asleep. Just like me. The reason why I make my recordings in the middle of the night is because it's the only time there's quiet enough usually to do anything like this so I wait until you know gone midnight after midnight and then I'll and I, but I don't make recordings one after another I leave a good hour or so between sometimes longer so I make one recording so I did the did I do number 42 relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety and panics so I did that one and it lasted about 42 minutes I think so I recorded that sitting on my bed in the bedroom where I normally keep my bed and Andre was in the bed he was fast asleep. And what he does now is he climbs. I don't know why he's doing it now. Because it's summer. This is something that he does during the winter. But I've got a continental quilt. or And it's got a cover. And the quilt's inside. He climbs into the quilt. Cover. And then goes. You know. Rolls up and goes to sleep. So that's what he does. So he, he was just there the whole time and didn't didn't get up at all. So I made the recording. I then uploaded it to the podcast. And then I went online and I downloaded the podcast to my laptop I edited the podcast just basically just the beginning and the end really but just uh, to make sure it's a nice smooth transition inwards and outwards and then I saved that so that processed which can take up to 10 minutes sometimes and then I uploaded it back to the podcast to replace the original recording then I published the podcast and you know put the title in and everything then I shared the podcast onto Facebook the podcast episode 
on to Facebook, our Facebook page, and then also on to Twitter, and then on to YouTube. Then I added the new episode onto my onto jasonnewland.com where all of my recordings are. There's a lot of stuff on there. They're all categorized as well. So I added that and also uploaded the file. So you can, not only can you stream it on there, but you can also download it from my website as well, if you wanted to. And then I went to the free hypnosis mp3s.com website and I put it on there as well and they're all categorized so I had to make sure it's in the correct category because all the different podcasts I've got are on there well, most of them are still in the process of building it but most of them are actually on there now And it's, they're embedded, all the podcasts, episodes are embedded. So you can play them. And also download them. And then that was done. So there was, you know, that was done. I, think I watched television for a bit. And then I made the Deep Sleep Whisper. 123, I think which lasted for about 20, 22 minutes or 21 minutes. And then I uploaded it, went through the whole process again. So I went onto the, to the podcast website, I downloaded it to my laptop, edited it, uploaded it made sure the title was correct then published it then shared it to Facebook my Facebook page and to Twitter and to YouTube then I shared it on my jasonnewlands.com website and uploaded it as well as uploading the file so people can download it as well as stream. Then I went to deepsleepwhisper.com website and I embedded, embedded the episode into there. So you can stream it and you can download it from there as well. And then I went to my other website freesleephypnosis.com and again I embedded it into there making it available to stream and to download so what I did with that is with the freesleephypnosis.com there's all of my different podcasts on there that are all categorized so there's the seven day sleep hypnosis there's the short oh no that's not right there's the sleep with Jason which I think there's four episodes some of, some of them only have a few episodes some have more and there's the fall asleep Counting Sheep which I liked because it rhymed so there's that one there's the Sleep Hypnosis with Music there's what other ones I can't remember but there's of course there's the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly there's the Deep Sleep Whisper and there's the Let me bore you to sleep 
So that's most of the podcasts that I can think off the top of my head that are involved in sleeping. And also there's one just in sleep insomnia, hypnosis, which is uh, a bunch of recordings that are just kind of on their own, not part of a podcast, but they're just standalone sessions. Most of them are quite long. Uh, among them is my most popular YouTube video session, which is, what is it called? Try Not to Fall Asleep. And uh, so that's on there as well. So what I did is I put the new recording, the Deep Sleep Whisper recording, onto that website under the category of Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. And yeah, then it's done. Yeah, I think that's all there was to do with that one. So that was quite nice to have it done. But it's it's a little bit juggly. You know, having six websites, all of which are active, um, all of which need continuous updating every time I make a new session uh, well it, not every podcast needs to be not every website needs to be updated every time I make a new recording but a lot of them do and 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 I am thinking about making some more websites developing some new ones so that will be a case of just kind of just I don't know look at the, at the expense because it's it costs quite a lot of money uh, for five websites, costs me thirty-five pounds a month to run them, and that's without the domain names, which work out about. I think the next month when I have to up, yeah, when I have to renew them, it's going to be about thirty pound each. That's one hundred and fifty pounds for the five. And so to get another five websites, that's, that takes it up to £70 for the month just for the websites. That's without the the main website, the jasonnewland.com, and that's about £35 as well just for that website. And that's got all of my stuff on. It's got everything. And plus everything's downloadable as well. All of my sessions are downloadable on there. So it's kind of... It's adding up. It adds up. Plus there's the expense of running the podcast. So Spreaker costs me over £30 a month for to, ho to host my podcasts. And then there's the internet, which is over £30 a month, which I need in order to do all this stuff. So, yeah, it's, uh, it adds up. Plus, on Thursday evening, I paid for a new app for the Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis podcast. So it's now, it hasn't been um, processed yet, 
but I paid $99 for that for the year and I'm just waiting for it to be available it's not it's not done yet so I thought it'd be kind of instant but it's not I'm hoping it'll be ready by tomorrow and then I can start sharing it on the websites and publicizing it you know on Facebook and that but it's just for the iOS so it's it's an Android app so it can only be used on Android phones and um, tablets and I suppose uh, Android laptops as well I'm thinking I'd quite like to again did I say iOS iOS would be the Apple so get an iOS app that's available so that'll be because the the one I'm getting will be available on the Google Play Store And if I manage to, if I can get another $99, I can pay for the Apple version. So that can be on the iStore. And then, and it's free, they're all free to download. And then people can download the app to their iPhone or their iPad or their iWatch or whatever. So yeah, it should be quite good. But I've got one anyway for now. And I'd quite like, once I've done that one, to get an app for this podcast as well. So that you can leave, you know, you can upload it onto your phone or, or you know, tablet, wherever iPhone or just normal phone and then you can just it's there it's like an app so you can just click on it and the latest episode will be available and all previous episodes also plus it's easier in a sense to leave comments and you can leave messages and stuff comments of how you like what I do how wonderful I am because I'm sure that that's something that most people just just long to t- long to do I just wish I could just tell him how amazing he is that squeaky voice of his just does something to me <sighs> so yeah I'm I'm quite pleased I decided decided the other day instead of building what I've been doing I've kind of been building a bungalow you know with my recordings and it's, there's a lot of stuff but as far as like the websites and stuff I've been building a bungalow then I knock it down and I build it again so I build these websites I get rid of them then I build them again and I can build a standard website on WordPress in an hour probably less it's probably half an hour I can you know it's because I've done it so many times now very basic but I can do it very quickly so now I'm thinking perhaps it's time to create a tower block like a big massive building instead of a little a little bungalow a big tower block with lots and lots of websites and lots and lots of windows and places where people can find it to get known a bit more you know to get out there and to make more podcasts on different subjects and topics and issues and just to to build it big build it big 
So that's kind of what I'm thinking. But did they say go big or go home? Well, what's wrong with going big and still being at home? This is my home. So after 13 and a half years of making these online recordings, the next 13 years, I'm hoping to see things expand. And I don't mean my waistline because I actually a couple of days ago got well I say a couple of days probably about five days ago I got a sit up bench and when it arrived I just left it in the hallway for a few days because it didn't have any chocolate in it I think if it had chocolate in the box I'd have opened it straight away but because it had an exercise bench I just uh, didn't I didn't feel that like oh I can't wait to open this box oh I wonder what's inside that box I'll stick my hand in the box first I would all feel around it's like no I didn't didn't feel it because I knew what was in there and I knew that it was the enemy to my tummy however my friend helped me to put it together and I've been using it probably yeah, at least twice a day I use it first before I have my breakfast I use it and I can do about 40 probably 50 actually but comfortably I can do 40 setups straight away and it's quite quite vert it's vertical I don't have the right word but it's it's done in such a way that you're really leaning back you know it's not like being on the floor it's really you feel the pressure on your stomach straight away and legs are kind of all comfortable and supported and so it's, it's a really good thing I used to have one years ago and it really did the trick and I can feel it already on this and on my stomach. So I'm going to be using that every day, probably twice. I might do it a few, you know, maybe do 50, 40 or 50 before I go to sleep. But I do them in the morning. Maybe do them in the afternoon as well. My idea was to maybe do them every every time before I eat. I do maybe 40 or 50 sit-ups and hopefully it will grow, you know, I'll get to the point where I can do maybe 60, 80, 100, 200 or whatever and I'm, I imagine just from basic science and everything that I'll get a much, my stomach will become muscular, more muscular, because there's clearly muscles underneath all that blubber, because the fact I can do 40 sit-ups without straining already. So I've got muscles there, but this should strengthen my core, and even after only doing doing this sit-ups for a day I do feel a degree of strength there I do feel something like a bit of a stretch as well in my lower back Andre's just come in it's really weird he's, he's come in and he wants us something to eat and there's a bowl of food I put out there and he won't touch it he's looking at it and he's just walked away so if I go and get him and 
um, I lift the food up <clears throat> and I let him taste because he will he'll taste the food and then I put the bowl down on the floor he'll eat it and he'll, he'll munch through it I'll probably eat half of it in one sitting it's, it's like a little baby I've got, kind of got to coax him however I know that when I go to bed in an hour or whatever when I wake up later today all the food will be gone not all he's still got dry food always there but I'm going to give it and I'm going to let him taste it and he's eating it and I put the food down on the on the on the you know his dish down on the floor and now he's eating it he's munching away So that's what was needed. He just he needed me to pick him up, give him some attention, let him taste it. It's it's just strange. Instead, of, I mean, he's been eating since he was born. It's not like a new thing. It's not like oh, what's this thing there? That looks strange. What's it doing in that metal bowl? Oh, I'm not done like this. No, it's something he does every day. Oh, well. I'm going to go. I'll speak to you. Speak to you next time. Bye.